all access database files have the potential to contain dangerous or malicious code buried within embedded macros and visual basic routines. If you are unsure of a database's origins, you should be very careful about allowing them to run before you've had a chance to check them out and make sure that they're safe. Because of this, Access requires you to give specific permissions to a database file before it will activate and run any code within the database. When opening a new file for the first time, Access will display this yellow security warning across the top. There are a couple of things that we can do to handle this warning. First, I can click on the X on the top right to dismiss the warning. Access will continue to let us work, but it won't run any macros or code modules. This could prevent the database from functioning properly. If I click the Enable Content button to trust this particular file, Access will remember this file and it won't ask us again the next time we work with it. Or I can click on this text here. When I hover over it, it becomes underlined. I'll click on it to get some additional options. We've got the security warning box here, where we have links to the Trust Center settings and links to learn more about active content. The Enable Content button here, if I click it, we can enable the content for our database, or we can get to some advanced options. I'm going to click on Enable All Content. Now our database is trusted, and code will run. Trusted documents are files that you've previously granted access permission to run. We can also trust a location on our computer, and then any files in that location will automatically be trusted as well. Let's go ahead and trust the lynda.com exercise files location so that we aren't bothered with the security message throughout the remainder of the course. I'm going to go up to the File tab, and then down to Options. That'll bring up the Access Options window. The very last option on the left is Trust Center, and then on the right side of that, Trust Center Settings. At the top of the next screen, we have an option for Trusted Locations. Go ahead and click that, and you'll see a list of all of the locations that have previously been trusted. Let's go ahead and add our location here. I'll press Add the New Location button, and then browse out to my Exercise Files folder location. I'll click Browse, go up to my desktop, and then go into my Exercise Files folder. I'll press the OK button to select it. Make sure you check the subfolders of this location are also trusted. Now any files in that folder or within subfolders within that folder are automatically trusted as safe. Go ahead and press the OK button. We'll press OK again. And we'll press OK one more time to close the access options. Now if I close this file and reopen it, we won't be prompted to trust it again. Opening databases that you created yourself or ones that come from reputable sources usually won't pose much of a threat. But if you are ever unsure about who created a particular database file, it's best to play it safe and explore its contents before allowing it to run any code on your computer.